Hello, check one, two. Check one, two, hello. Welcome to scenic Tioga Center, New York, and to the campus of Tioga Central High School. I'm Ryan Bombard for uh, today's girls basketball showdown between Newark Valley, uh, the Cardinals of Newark Valley, uh, taking on the Tioga Tigers. Got about uh, two and a half minutes before opening tip, and obviously a, a tale of two teams here. Newark Valley coming in. Uh, six and one, uh, got a victory last night against Horseheads, a pretty decisive victory, 61 to 47. Uh, Nekadovich led the way for the Cardinals with 16 points and 15 rebounds. Of course, these two teams played uh, just the other night, uh, Thursday night, I believe, uh, at Newark Valley. And, uh, huh, I can't seem to find you know, I usually keep pretty meticulous notes. I don't happen to see uh, what the final score of that game was. I'm sure it's not important. What matters is tonight's game. Uh, I will tell you that uh, Eve Wood led the way Thursday night in the loss uh, for Tioga with 12 points. Uh, all kidding aside, uh, a lot of talent on this Newark Valley team. And uh, we'll have to see how uh, Tioga responds. Uh, as I joked about the, the score of the game the other night, uh, Newark Valley... Uh, Put a little bit of a, a drubbing on the Tigers of Tioga, and we'll uh, be very interested to see how Tioga reacts and rebounds here uh, against this team. And, and Coach Greg Schweiger has uh, this team rolling, a lot of talent on this team. Again, I've mentioned it a couple of times now uh, that I'm sure both Newark Valley and Waverly uh, a little a little more upset than others uh, that there will be no state tournament because both have very talented teams, and I'm sure they would have loved to have seen uh, how they made out uh, going through that tournament process. And we're going to pause right now, I believe, for the singing of our anthem and the, uh, the announcement of our starting lineups.
All right, man wearing, nailing the anthem prior to the start of our game. I think that shows how versatile our, our girls' team is. I don't see uh, Gavin Godfrey or uh, Kobe Whitmore singing the anthem before uh, the start of a boys' varsity game. As we get ready for the tip here in Tioga Center, again, uh, Newark Valley Cardinals facing off against the Tioga Tigers here in today's uh, Varsity Girls Basketball Contest. And it is good to see uh, Gracie Gardner returning from injury. She returned actually in the game Thursday night here against Tioga. Don't know how glad Tioga was to see it or is to see it, but I'm sure uh, everyone else is. And again, to all the friends and family of both uh, Tioga and Newark Valley, thanks a lot for tuning us in. Hopefully we'll be able to add a nice little soundtrack uh, to today's game. And the tip is controlled by Tioga. Bellis brings the ball down, finds Ayers. And a turnover in the middle. Holly Beebe gets it, gets it up ahead. To Walker who can't finish. Tioga recovers and now some pressure from Newark Valley. And it will be a jump ball. Newark Valley takes possession. Haley Beebe from the top of the key won't fall. Gets her own rebound. Skip pass to Hannah Ferguson. And Ferguson with that miss. Tioga comes away with the rebound. Double team on Eve Wood. Tioga working the ball around. Some good defensive intensity so far by North Valley. Manwaring misses a shot, gets her own rebound, put back, won't go. Bellis doing Bellis things and fighting for a rebound. It will stay Tioga basketball. 7.03 remaining here in the first quarter, still no score. Reese Howie dribbles into the middle, looks for a shot, and just rims out. Shea Gardner pulls down the rebound, gets it up ahead to Ferguson, who unfortunately throws the ball away. 6.46 remaining here in the first quarter. Again, still no score. Newark Valley going to a full court press. And much like they did against Waverly, a little trouble by Tioga handling the press. And the ball is taken away by Ferguson, who's immediately fouled by Julia Bellis. That'll be her first. Tioga settling into a 2-3. Rachel Walker for three from the corner, no good. Bellis comes away with the rebounds.
Nice head fake by Reese Howie. First bucket of the game, Julia Bellis with the assist. Nice head fake by Howie there. Newark Valley working the ball around, gets it to Shea Gardner for three, top of the key, got it. And again, full court press by Newark Valley. Newark Valley ends up getting it back. Shea Gardner out to Ferguson, misses the three. Eve Wood pulls down the rebound. And again, let's see if Tioga can beat the press. Julia Bellis again gets it to Livares. They get it across the line, trying to settle into half court. Ari right, Manwaring for three from the corner, from the wing, got it. Big bucket by Ari. And a 5-2 lead early for Tioga. 5-20 left to play in the first quarter. Ferguson into Gracie Gardner. Kicks it back out to Haley Beebe who drives left. Oh, good take by Beebe. She gets it to fall. 5-4 your score. Five minutes left to go in the first quarter. And Tyoga beats the press into Julia Bellis. Loses the handle. Uh, see... Effective job beating the press, but then it just looked like they got a little too excited trying to force the ball too much in the half court, and they turned the ball over. 4.46 left to play in the first quarter. 5-4 your score in favor of Tioga over Newark Valley. Walker with the three attempt misses. Rebound by Gracie. She can't get the put back. Newark Valley still controls. Oh, great inside pass to Shea Gardner. Back up top to Beebe. Great ball movement by Newark Valley. Inside to Shea Gardner, she backs him down. Great move, shot won't fall. And it looks like it'll be out on Newark Valley, Tioga basketball. A couple of subs now for Newark Valley. Number 40, Simbri Jefferson checks into the game. Gracie Gardner takes a seat. 45, Allison Walker in for Newark Valley as well. Eve Wood, top of the key, three, just misses. Newark Valley with the rebound, they're out and running. Ferguson takes it hard to the rim, no good. Julia Bellis with another rebound. She decides to keep it herself, gets it across the half court line. Ari Manwaring, a little trouble controlling it. And it will uh, be a jump ball, stay Tioga basketball. 3.43 left to play. Tioga up one. Reese Howie taking it out underneath. Gets it inside to Ari Manwaring. Rejected by Shea Gardner. Looked like the block was clean. Got her with the body. So that'll be Shea Gardner's first foul. Manwaring will shoot two. First one misses short for Ari. And she hits the second one to put the Tigers up to 6-4 with 3.40 remaining here in the first quarter. That gives Man wearing four points on the game. Newark Valley moving it around. Haley Beebe from the top of the key, short. Great hustle by Bibi as she gets her own rebound. Gets it inside to Shea Gardner, who gets hammered. Shot won't fall, but she will shoot too. And the foul is on number 12, Ari Manwaring. My apologies to Shea Gardner. Cha. I'll get it. I promise. Apologies to the Gardner family. And Cha makes both free throws to tie this game up at six.
That gives Cha five points on the uh, on the day early here in the first quarter. Tioga effectively beats the press again. Knocked out of bounds by Newark Valley. It'll be Tioga basketball. 3.11 left to go here in the first period. All knotted up at six. Into Bellis. Good interior passing to Manwaring. She can't get it to fall. Nekadovich comes down with the rebound. Nekadovich, the foul line, Wandell. Rihanna Beebe sinks the three from the wing. That's the senior's first point, first points of the day. Eve Wood with a three from the top of the key, won't fall. Man wearing fights for the offensive board. Eve Wood again for three, gets that one. Nine to nine, your score, 2.15 left to go in the first quarter. Gets it inside to Nekadovich for Newark Valley. Great defense by Eve Wood. Wandell gets it back to Nekadovich. Nekadovich misses the three, out of bounds will be Tioga basketball. Boy, with this ball movement, you'd almost think their coach was a point guard. Sowie forces a shot, rebound by Nekadovich, knocked out of bounds by Manwaring. And we get a timeout. Uh, interesting, Tioga has effectively beaten the press here the last few uh, possessions, but then it looks like they're just forcing things too much once they get it down there. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, Coach Robinson can get him to level that out a little bit and get some good looks at the basket. But so far, pretty good, uh, pretty good so far for the Tigers. Tied nine apiece with 145 left to go in the first quarter. And your original starters look like will still remain on the floor for Tioga. <laughs> Looks like Sibri Jefferson, Allison Walker, McKenna Nekadovich, Ali Wandell, and Brianna Beebe on the floor for Newark Valley. And Nekadovich gets a quick bucket on the block, make it 11 9 Newark Valley, 130 left to play. And again, forced a little bit by Tioga. Olivia Ayers called for a double dribble. 123 left to go in the first quarter. Newark Valley by two. And Eve Wood comes away for this with the steal. For Tioga. Under a minute to go now here in the first quarter. Cardinals lead by two. Eve Wood trying to get a good look here. Airs from the top of the key, downtown bang. Got the three and the Tigers take the lead back over. That's Ayers first bucket of the game. Nekadovich drives the lane, gets fouled by uh, Reese Howie on the way in. That's how he's first foul. And Nekadovich misses the first one. We'll see if she can tie it up with this one. And she does.
Nekadovich again on the steal off the press. Gets the bucket. 25 to go left here in the first quarter. Ayers pulls it down. Midcourt gets it to Bellis with the shot. Oh, just rims out. Nekadovich on the run now. Looks like New York Valley has some numbers. Wandell gets it inside. Ends up in the hands of Simbri Jefferson. Shoots a jumper. Not a bad quarter for Tioga as they're down 16 to 12. Actually led a lot of that quarter. And just a quick flurry there at the end uh, gets Newark Valley up four. So taking a look at your leading scorers so far, we're uh, for Tioga. Looks like Ari Manwaring leads the way with four points. Uh, Eve Woods and Olivia Ayers with three each. And Reese Howie with two as well. On the Cardinals side, Nekadovich and uh, Cha Gardner. Now right there, shouldn't I get credit? I nail uh, Nekadovich. You did. But me mess up Cha. So again, I, th I thought I'd get some points for that, but... Uh, where'd we leave off there? Yep, uh, Nekadovich and uh, Cha Gardner each with five apiece. Uh, Brianna Beebe has three, and Haley Beebe has two as we head into uh, the second quarter. And it is great to see Coach Greg Schweiger back uh, back at Tioga here. He was a, a Tioga guy. His kids all came to Tioga. Uh, two of his kids were uh, pretty good basketball players in Emmett and Allie. And then his other two boys uh, were pretty talented as well, one of which actually... Uh, performed the national anthem at our Little League opening day strictly on his guitar and nailed it. Uh, very talented household, yet they still let Greg in the house. So, Good shot by Gardner. Won't go. Tioga with the rebounds. Eve Wood gets it across half court. Into Vance. Gets it stolen. Brianna Beebe picks the pocket of Austin Vance. In Newark Valley basketball. Shotgun, a great inside pass to Nekadovich. Wow. Great court vision by the freshman. Julia Bellis try, trying to create something on offense. Ends up uh, with a little bit of the happy feet. Gets called for the travel. 18-12 in favor of Newark Valley. 7-19 left to play in the second quarter. Good defense by Ayers. Knocks the ball away into the hands of Eve Wood. Ball's thrown away back to Newark Valley. Good defense by Bellis. She's able to uh, knock it away from Brianna Beebe. But it will remain Newark Valley basketball. Brianna Beebe from the corner, nails the three. And another turnover for Tioga, and the ball will be in the hands of Newark Valley. And this is not what you want after that first quarter to come out like this here in the second. 21 to 12 now. Newark Valley has made short work here in the second quarter. Inside to Nekadovich, goes over the back a little bit to get the rebound. Shaw Gardner gets the rebound, battles up, still won't fall. Julia Bellis comes down to the rebounds and is fouled, I believe, by Shaw Gardner. That'll be Shaw's second. Great defensive intensity here by Newark Valley. Making it very difficult for Tyler to get the ball in. And it's knocked out of bounds, given to Tioga. New York Valley side not uh, thrilled with that decision. Into airs for three, misses. Shaw Gardner gets, gets the rebound and then throws it right into the waiting hands of a Tioga player in the middle, but Tioga is not able to convert. 
Still Tioga basketball, 6.20 left to play here in the first half. 21 to 12, Newark Valley leads. And some sloppy passing by Tioga ends up with the ball back to Newark Valley. 6.15 left to play here in the first half. 21 to 12, still your score. Newark Valley leads. Nekadovich with a great inside pass to Brianna Beebe, and she puts it down. That's eight points for Brianna. Gracie Gardner back in the game, subbing in for her sister, Cha. And it looks like Eve Wood, uh, trying to beat the press, ended up stepping over the end line. So, more bad news for Tioga. As this Newark Valley ball under their basket. And then Nekadovich, good hard foul by Reese Howie, making Nekadovich not, uh, not get anything handed to her under there. That'll be uh, Reese Howie's second foul on the day. Abby Foley now into the game, subbing in for Reese. And Nikodilovic hits the front end over two shots. And she nails the second. I believe nine points for Nekadovich. Oh, Newark Valley with another steal, but uh, Haley Beebe dribbles it off her leg back to Tioga. And they're able to get it across. Very intense defense by Newark Valley. Just Tioga getting no room to breathe whatsoever. Another turnover. Inside to Gracie Gardner, can't get it to fall. Olivia Ayers comes down with it. 5.20 left to go here in the first half. And a little trouble in the backcourt for Tioga. Coach Robinson calls a well-timed timeout. 5.20 left to go here in the first half. 25 to 12 your score, Newark Valley leading. And this season's uh, also interesting is uh, I believe uh, uh, Coach Greg Schweiger for Newark Valley, very involved with Tioga's youth basketball for many, many years. And uh, this is kind of, it's, it's, it's a little interesting seeing him play against basically the last, uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if last crop is proper, uh, but basically the last crop of, of his coaching here in Tioga, and especially Ari Manwaring, Olivia Ayers, uh, Eve Wood. But uh, definitely Coach Schweiger building something really, really good in Newark Valley. As you know, you look up and down this Newark Valley varsity team, they've got uh, a lot of youth on this team as well. So this isn't just a story of a bunch of seniors. This is a well-coached team. Tyler is able to break the press. Oh, great heads up play by Julia Bellis. A pass inside is knocked, knocked uh, just about out of bounds, saved by Newark Valley right to Bellis, who puts it right up for the two. See, that's the thing. Newark Valley is so quick on offense. Uh, I looked down to mark my score sheet, and they scored. I have no idea who just scored that bucket. Twenty-seven, fourteen. Your score, four fifty left to play in the first half. Newark Valley settling into a two-three. Great shot coming around the end, just outside the block by Eve Wood. That gives her five on the day. Oh, great pass inside to Gracie Gardner, who can't get the finish. Gets her own rebound twice now, three times. And there's just a lid on that rim for Gracie right now. And Bellis trying to bring the ball down, gets the ball taken away by sophomore Haley Beebe. Settles in again, trying to run the Newark Valley offense. 
Nekadovich on the elbow, drives in. Can't get it to fall. Julia Bellis pulls down the board. That's her fifth rebound of the game. Into Foley, she gets rejected. Eve Wood cleans up the mess, gets the bucket. <laughs> the last couple offensive uh, possessions have not been um, anything that would win a fashion show, but uh, been effective nonetheless as Tioga has uh, now two, three straight trips down the floor with a score. 27-18, 3.44 left to play in the first half. Again, great ball movement by Newark Valley. Haley Beebe drives in. Pass out to Ferguson, almost gets picked off. Back to Haley Beebe. Brianna Beebe with the three attempt, won't go. And a tie up for the rebound between Hannah Ferguson and Abby Foley. It'll be a jump ball in favor of Newark Valley. 3.17 left to play in the first half. The lead is nine. Into Cha, back out. Brianna Beebe drives baseline, and Julia Bellis, I believe, is called with the block. That'll be her second, Julia Bellis' second foul on the day. It was on the floor, so Newark Valley will take it underneath. A couple of subs for Tioga as Ari Manwaring and Mariah Nichols check in for Bellis and Vance. 3.07 left to play in the first half. And Tioga gets the turnover. And Newark Valley just will not let up. They get the ball back and turn it back over. Hannah Ferguson goes up and is fouled, I believe, by Olivia Ayers. It'll be Olivia's first. Ali Wandell and Haley Beebe, I believe, check in for Newark Valley. On the floor for Newark Valley right now, uh, Cha Gardner, uh, Ali Wandell, Hannah Ferguson, Haley Beebe, and Allison Walker. And Manwaring for another three, misses. Rims out, rebound, goes to Rachel Walker. Now Tioga showing a little press of their own. Wandell on the wing. Back up top to Haley Beebe, swings it around to Walker. Wandell got a look, head fake, gets to the elbow, passes it to Cha Gardner, and she sinks the little mid-range jumper from the baseline. Gets inside to Mariah Nichols, and she gets the basket, beating the press. Good job by Mariah. Way to move without the ball there. Wandell from the wing for three, short into Cha Gardner, who gets the bucket and the foul. I believe that's uh, nine. By the way, uh, as I say all the games here, uh, these are all unofficial statistics. Uh, I will do my best at halftime to uh, confirm what I have, but. And Gardner makes it a three-point play. I believe gives her 10 on the day. I'm sure the folks at uh, Tioga County Sports Report will have uh, all of the accurate uh, statistics. Tioga, great ball movement down to Abby Foley who hits the little jumper on the baseline. That's the junior's first bucket of the game. 33-22, 1.37 left to play here in the first half. And great ball movement by Newark Valley. Cha Gardner draws the foul again on Manwaring. That is Manwaring's second. 
So a couple of players on Tioga's side and a little bit of foul trouble is uh, Manwaring, Bellis, and Howie all with two fouls each. And actually on the Newark Valley side, really just, uh, just Cha Gardner, who has two fouls, been playing a very physical game. She misses the front end of her two shots. Second one, clangs off the back of the rim. Gets a turnover, stealing it from Gabby Foley. A little sloppy play here from both teams. Ball be out of bounds. I believe it'll be Tioga basketball. Nope. Correction, Newark Valley. Haley Beebe setting things up. Walker gets it inside to Nekadovich, who gets the bucket and the foul. She'll have a shot at a three-point play. I believe that gives Nekadovich 11 on the day. And again, I'll try to confirm these stats here at halftime. 1-10 left to play, 13-point lead for the Cardinals as they lead Tioga 35-22. And she sinks it to complete the three-point play. 12 points on the day for Nekadovich. Gabby Foley tries to get a shot off, blocked. A little frantic ball movement by Tioga, trying to get a good look. Wood gets away with a little bit of a travel. Just the defense is suffocating right now. Tiobas just cannot get anything going on offense. And it looks like Allie Wandell will get called with the foul right at the end of the shot clock. So big break for Tioga. That'll be Wandell's first foul on the day. And Tioga will get a fresh 30-second shot clock. And ball is turned over once again. It'll be Newark Valley basketball. 34.3 seconds left to play. 14 point lead, 36 to 22. Newark Valley leads Tioga. Into Nekadovich. Great drop step. Gets the bucket. I believe that gives Nekadovich 14 on the day. Head to Ayers for three. No good. Gabby Foley with the rebound. Ooh, Eve Wood hits the deck. Looks like her ankle gave out on her almost. Seems to be okay. From way downtown, it will not count short anyway. So a rough second quarter for Tioga. Newark Valley back. Back on uh, pace with what I'm sure that they were looking for. Uh, Tayo got a pretty good first quarter, but Newark Valley just pulled away, uh, 38 to 22 now as we head into halftime. And the one thing that stands out to me is just team speed. Like it just looks like Newark Valley on both sides of the ball is just so fast and so quick. Um, quick on the offensive side, and then they don't even give Tayoga a chance to get the ball in bounds. Just uh, everything is so quick. Uh, from Newark Valley and it's just right now it's 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 really hard it looks like Tioga playing catch up uh, trying to keep up with them so we'll take a little break I'll confirm my statistics and be back with you here before we kick off the second half uh, of today's uh, girls varsity basketball action the Newark Valley Cardinals lead the Tioga Tigers 38 to 22 
say something about it, so the best yeah.
And welcome back to Tioga Center. Here at the, uh, the home gym of the Tioga Central Tigers. For today's varsity girls basketball showdown between Newark Valley and Tioga. About three minutes or so left to go here in halftime. Uh, Newark Valley leads the Tigers 38 to 22. Got some updated statistics for you. Uh, for Tioga leading the way, we've got uh, Eve Wood with seven points, Manwaring with four, Olivia Ayers with three, uh, Julia Bellis, Reese Howie, and Mariah Nichols, and Abby Foley all have two points apiece. Uh, looking at uh, some fouls, a uh, little foul trouble for the Tigers. Ari Manwaring with three coming out of halftime. And again, reminder, it's, it's five to foul out here in uh, high school basketball. Uh, Julia Bellis, uh, Reese Howie, and Liv Ayers all with two fouls as well. On the Newark Valley side, uh, McKenna Nekadovich is uh, leading the way. She's got 16 points. Uh, Cha Gardner is right behind her with nine. Uh, Brianna Beebe with eight. And then uh, Haley Beebe and Simbri Jefferson chipping in two apiece. And Hannah Ferguson uh, hitting a free throw in there during the first half. Uh, only one in any kind of foul trouble uh, for Newark Valley is Cha Gardner, who's got two. But actually, watching that first half, she played such a physical game and was able to be under control, uh, again, for, uh, for being a freshman. Uh, I actually think for as physical as she played, two fouls, is, uh, I think uh, Coach Schweiger will take it. And as I said, it's kind of interesting that uh, Coach Schweiger coming back to, to play Tioga here as he was very involved with uh, the Tioga basketball program, especially on the girls' side for many years, and pretty much ran our uh, youth basketball program. Sorry if I seem distracted, but the Tioga girls have an issue with basketballs caught in the basket that uh, they aren't able to solve right away, but they figure it out. A little distracting. Um, but uh, yeah, he, uh, Coach Schweiger, very involved and, and really, uh, from what I remember, our youth program was at its peak when he was uh, running things and had the participation was off the charts. And uh, definitely uh, Newark Valley got, uh, got a good one in Coach Schweiger. And I heard he's an okay teacher as well. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I think a lot of people at Tioga were, were, were sad to see uh, Schweiger go to Newark Valley. It, it, it's, and I was talking uh, to someone earlier. It, this, this may be hyperbole. It may be blowing it out of proportion a bit. But I think the closest comparison is to when Anakin Skywalker joined the dark side. I think that's the closest thing, the closest analogy uh, for Greg Schweiger going to Newark Valley. Um, <laughs> and, and for the record, uh, myself and Coach Schweiger used to tear up the Monday Night Old Man Basketball League here at Tioga. And when I say we used to dominate, it really means that I parked on the wing and waited to jack up a couple of threes while him and his brother Jamie did the bulk of the work. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I had to get those in while uh, Coach Schweiger most likely couldn't hear me. So we're ready to start the second half. Newark Valley leading by 16, 38 to 22 after a great first quarter by Tioga. They ran into some trouble in the second quarter, getting the offense going. And uh, I really think they're just they're just struggling dealing with Newark Valley's team speed because they, they struggled at first beating the press, then they were able to uh, kind of get it down and beat the press, but then they just got so frantic they'd get in the half-court offense and end up turning the ball over and not getting a good look at a shot. So we'll see what adjustments uh, Coach Robinson made in the locker room at halftime. And and uh, again, a couple of similarities to the game against Waverly is, is a lot of hard-nosed basketball, some sloppy basketball, but some hard-nosed basketball by both teams. And in all honesty, it, it seems that Newark Valley is, is actually not probably shot as well as, as maybe you'd expect. And they still have a 16-point lead. So uh, hopefully Tioga clamps down on the defense here coming out and doesn't let uh, someone or, or a couple of players get really hot on Newark Valley side. So we'll see how, uh, how things go here in the second half and on the floor for Tioga to start the half. Uh, man wearing Howie, Bellis, Ayers, and Wood 
for Newark Valley, Allie Wandell, Brianna Beebe, Sha Gardner, Hannah Ferguson, and McKenna Nekadovich, who is your leading scorer on the day. Newark Valley with the basketball. Nekadovich gets a look at a three, airs right up in her face though. She drives in, loses the ball. She comes away with it, gets it out. Out top, Wandell with a look, pass it off to Cha Gardner who hits the jumper. Ball knocked out of bounds by Brianna Beebe. It'll be Tioga basketball. And Howie takes uh, an extra step there. Tioga offense just looks a little flustered right now. Seven twenty left to play here in the third quarter. Forty to twenty-two in favor of Newark Valley. Nekadovich with a good drive. Great block by Manwaring. Oh, great screen, too. Great interior pass by Howie to Olivia Ayers. Fantastic pass by Reese Howie. Good to see uh, some confidence on that pass from Howie. And Brianna Beebe drives in. Not much contact, but she was looking for the foul. Ball up ahead to Wood for Tioga. Knocked away, man wearing with the jumper, won't fall. Nekadovich pulls down the rebounds. Six twenty left to play here in the third quarter. Sixteen point lead, forty to twenty four in favor of Newark Valley. Nekadovich drives to the middle, passes off to Gardner, back to Brianna Beebe who hits the jumper, and that is a three pointer. That gives Brianna Beebe 11 points on the game. Eve Wood from top of the key, way downtown, misses short. Ball will belong to Newark Valley. Drive into the middle by Hannah Ferguson. She gets a little running one-hander to fall. Gives her three points on the day. And how he struggles getting the ball, turns it over. <laughs> oh boy, what a gift for Tioga there as uh, Brianna Beebe is wide open and gets called for a travel. And Manwaring with the shot is blocked by Nekadovich. And Brianna Beebe gets her revenge as she drives in and gets the call. A little touch foul on Reese Howie. That'll be her third. And Beebe hits the front end. The senior now with 12 points on the day. And she hits the second one. So 13 points on the day for Brianna Beebe. Good ball movement by Tioga. Gets the numbers they're looking for and the ball's thrown away. 4.58 left to play, 47-24. Newark Valley over Tioga. Original starters on the floor for Tioga. Wandell bringing the ball up court for Newark Valley. Great inside pass to Brianna Beebe who gets another two. 
That gives her 15. Sowie bringing the ball down, beats the press. Some physical play by Nekadovich. Eve Wood drives in the lane, a little running shot. Julia Bellis treating Ali Wandel like she's a TSA agent. Uh, somehow that stays Tioga basketball. And BB picks off the pass, and she gets the easy lay-in. The play is there for them to beat the press, just the passing is a little late, and just New York Valley is too quick. Oh, and Brianna BB is knocked to the floor on a shot. Foul goes to Ari Manwaring. Brianna Beebe popped right back up. Didn't want man wearing having the satisfaction of uh, staying on the floor at all. And she hits the front end of her two shot foul. Just under four minutes left to play here in the third quarter. Rebound by Bellis. Reese Howie from downtown. Out. Misses Julia Bellis with the rebound. Tries to get it to Liv Ayers. Newark Valley picks it off, but as Brianna Beebe uh, goes out of bounds trying to save it. 3.46 left to play here in the third quarter as now it's an 18 point lead, 52 to 24 in favor of Newark Valley. And it really looks like Tioga's got the play to beat the press, just the, the passes need to be a little quicker, a little sharper. Brianna Beebe now the leading scorer of the game. Uh, she has 17 to McKenna Nekadovich's 16. Little known fact for Tioga, our buzzer actually stopped working four years ago. That's actually uh, Mike could choose voice making that noise each time you hear it. <laughs> Newark Valley brings the ball down. 340 left to play in the third quarter. 52 to 24, Cardinals lead. Hannah Ferguson with a wide open three from the corner. She nails it. Fifty-five, twenty-four. now, 327 left to play in the third quarter. Livares tries to shoot a three, gets it tipped. Gracie Gardner comes down with it. Reese Howie almost gets the steal, but Gracie recovers. Brianna Beebe with the three ball, won't go. Nekadovich with the rebound, gets fouled on the way up. And I do believe that will be Reese Howie. No, they're giving it to Julia Bellis. That'll be... And I guess they are going uh, with a foul on the floor. That will be Julia Bellis' third foul. Gracie Gardner gets the buck a little bit ago. 
And Brianna Beebe now scores again. That was Gracie's first bucket of the game. And good take by Howie. Rebound gets bounced around. She comes back up with it over to Olivia Ayers, who gets blocked again. Nekadovic just too much for her, just too much height guarding uh, Ayers on the wing. Nekadovic just strolls through the park, gets an easy lay-in. Two nineteen left to play, 61-24. Just Newark Valley defense just smothering Tioga right now. Back to Nekadovic, who's fouled by Bellis. Looked like Bellis went straight up, but not much you can do there. That will be Bellis's fourth. Her and Olivia Ayers come off the floor, replaced by Abby Foley and Austin Vance. On the floor for Newark Valley, Nekadovich, Haley Beebe, Allison Walker, Gracie Gardner, and Rachel Walker. Sixty-two twenty-four, two oh four left to play here in the third quarter. Eve from way downtown on the wing just misses. Abby Foley gets the rebound, but uh, is introduced to Gracie Gardner, who sends that shot back. Good recovery by Foley, though, on defense. Good pass inside to Gracie Gardner. Can't finish. And it'll be a jump ball. Mariah Nichols pulled down the rebound. Mariah Nichols having a good little game off the bench. 123 left to play here in the third quarter. 62 to 24 in favor of Newark Valley. Into Gracie, and she hits the little mid-range jumper. Four points for her on the day. Abby Foley from downtown in the corner. Won't fall, Newark Valley comes up with the rebound. Inside to Allison Walker, who draws the foul. And that'll be Reese Howie's fourth foul. And Allison Walker hits the front end of her two shot foul. And misses the second, but Rachel Walker gets the rebound. And a jump ball is called. It'll be Tioga basketball. Forty-five seconds left to play in the third quarter. Forty-one point lead for Newark Valley. Olivia Ayers with the jumper from the corner. Won't fall. Gracie Gardner pulls down the rebound. Out ahead to Haley Beebe. Great pass inside. <laughs> Great pass inside to Rachel Walker. Good defense from Tioga. Gets her on the, uh, the travel. 25 seconds left to play. 65-24 in favor of Newark Valley. Tioga looking to get a good look at a shot. Just Newark Valley defense is just stifling. Oh, 
Olivia Ayers gets away the foul, gets the block. Gracie Gardner underneath. And Gracie, I'm sure, happy to be back on the floor, but seeing a little frustration as her shots just won't fall. Getting good looks, too. Playing great. At the buzzer, Haley Beebe cannot convert. Another rough quarter for the Tigers as we enter into the fourth quarter. The Newark Valley Cardinals lead 65 to 24. Uh, for uh, Newark Valley, uh, Nekadovich, I don't think she was a, a fan of Brianna Beebe uh, taking over the scoring lead for the day, so she bounced back. Uh, we actually have a tie now, if my stats are correct. Uh, Nekadovich and Brianna Beebe, uh, both with 19 points. Uh, Cha Gardner has 11. Hannah Ferguson with six, uh, Gracie Gardner with four, uh, Simbri Jefferson and Haley Beebe with two apiece, and Allison Walker with uh, a made free throw. And again, just very clean defense uh, by Newark Valley. Still, uh, Cha Gardner uh, with two fouls, Allie Wandell with one. That's pretty much it on the Newark Valley side. Uh, on the Tioga side, looks like Eve Wood still leading the way with seven points. Olivia Ayers with five. Uh, Ari Manwaring with four. And then we've got Abby Foley, Julia Bellis, Reese Howie, and Mariah Nichols, all with two apiece. Uh, on the Tioga side, some foul trouble. Julia Bellis and Reese Howie uh, with four fouls each. Ari Manwaring with three, and Olivia Ayers with two. So, I'd love to see Tioga come out in this fourth quarter, pick up the intensity a little bit, get some good looks. Who cares if they go in? Let's get some good looks on the offensive end. Let's move the ball and, and just really try to get ahead of this Newark Valley defense. Newark Valley brings the ball down to kick off the fourth quarter. Wandell on the wing. Dishes it over to Jefferson. Swings it around to Beebe. Inside to Wandell. Great ball movement. Won't fall. And it'll be out of bounds on Newark Valley. Tioga basketball. Great possession by Newark Valley. Shot just wouldn't fall. Let's see if Tyler can put something together here. And the ball's turned over. Jump ball. Will remain Tioga basketball. Seven and a half minutes left to play in the game. Gets it into Gabby Foley. To Vance. Pretty good ball movement by Tioga. Austin Vance goes baseline, can't finish. But pretty good possession by Tioga as Cha Gardner brings the ball down. Wandell at the top of the key. Wandell inside, pass from Cha Gardner. She can't get it to fall. Gets the rebound. And a lot of physicality underneath there, but uh, officials call it jump ball will be Newark Valley's ball. Into Cha. Can't get it to fall. Battle again. <laughs> Abby Foley right in there. Fighting for that rebound. 6.55 left to go. It'll be Tioga basketball as Newark Valley leads 65-24. to Gabby Foley on the wing. Hands it off to Liv Ayers. Oh. Gabby Foley comes around the end, looking for a shot. Can't hold on to it. Another jump ball. This one will belong to Newark Valley. Inside to Cha Gardner. Great move. Great post move by Gardner to get another two. The freshman now has 13 points. Just very smooth on the block down low. 6.05 left to play. 67-24 is your score. Tyler with the basketball. Ali Wandell picks the pocket. Loses it back to Vance. 
in the middle to Vance, gets the bucket. Sixty-seven to twenty-six. Newark Valley leads. Five forty-five left to play in the game. Wendell with the head fake squares up top of the key. Short. Chag on a great interior pass. Won't fall though, and it'll be tied to basketball. There was a loose ball there. It looked like both Tioga players were looking to be the one to get out running, thinking the other one was going to get it, and North Valley ended up picking it up. That's the sort of thing. Got to protect the basketball. 5.20 left to play, 67-26. Mariah Nichols from the corner, won't fall, gets her own rebound. Hands it off to Liv Ayers. And Liv Ayers really struggling with the height of Newark Valley. Just seems like everybody they have on her just is so much taller than her. She's not able to uh, accomplish too much there. Not for lack of effort, that's for sure. Great pass into Nekadovic by Gracie. And Nekadovic can't finish. But she does get fouled. She'll shoot two. Under five minutes to play here in the game. 67-26, Nekadovic to shoot two. This is the front end. Oh, great rebound by Brianna Beebe. That gives her 21 points on the day, and she definitely earned that one. Vance with the shot from the corner, and she gets it. Just inside the three-point line on the wing. Nekadovic at the foul line, drives in, can't finish. Good block by Ayers to Gracie Gardner. Miss rebound, miss rebound. Nekadovic gets it on this side, finally gets the foul. Not much tight we can do if you let uh, the tall ladies of Newark Valley just stand there and get rebounds. Nekadovic gets her 25th point of the game. And she hits the second as well. Nekadovic with 26 points today. 4.05 left to play in the game. 71-28 in favor of Newark Valley. Gabby Foley around the end. Gets a shot up. And it falls. Gabby's first points of the game. 3.48 left to play. Good interior pass to Gracie. Gracie gets it back out to the guard. Oh, good hustle. Good hustle by Abby Foley, who just stepped on the end line. And actually beat Rachel Walker down the floor, looking for an easy bucket. Good pass by Ayers to Vance. That was her spot. She can't get it to fall, though. Gracie Gardner, oh, gets the outlet to Nekadovic. And it falls. 23 points now for Nekadovic. Abby Foley from downtown, won't fall. Austin Vance gets the rebound, dribbles in. Foul will be on the floor, I believe, against uh, Hannah Ferguson. Yep, that's Ferguson's first. Tioga basketball underneath. 3.05 left to play in the game. 73-30 to 30 is your score. Julia Bellis looks at a three. Thinks better of it. Gets it to Vance in the foul line. 
Abby Foley will shoot it. She misses, and it'll be out of bounds off of Newark Valley, Tioga basketball. Coach Schweiger's got to be happy about this performance because it almost seems like Newark Valley didn't have their best stuff today. And still, the defense, the speed kept them in the game and kept, kept them pretty dominant. Bella says the ball stolen by Brianna Beebe. Nekadovich for three. Got it. Have a day. Twenty six points now for Nekadovich. Brian Nichols drives in, gets blocked by BB. And a little bit of a judo hip throw there by BB. Can't say I blame her though, as Nichols was basically uh, right on her back. 226 left to play here in the game, 76 to 30 is the score. Courtney Wagner in the game now, seeing her first action for the Tigers. 2 3 zone for Tioga. Foley girls up top. Wagner, Bellis, and Vance down low. Shot Gardner goes to the rim, but it won't fall. Over to Gabby Foley, gets a shot, and it goes, her second bucket of the game. Wandella, top of the key, gives it over to Haley Beebe, swings it around to Jefferson, back to Wandell. Inside the Cha, great, another great post move. She is so smooth on the blocks. Wagner with the rebound, gets it up to Gabby Foley, who pushes the issue for Tioga. Rebounded by Newark Valley. 76-32, under a minute and a half to play. Abby Foley with the steal midcourt. Goes up, great defense by Cha Gardner. Definitely uh, another turnover by Newark Valley. Julie Bellis gets it to Abby Foley again, and it won't fall. Bellis with the rebound, can't get it to fall as well. Looks like a jump ball. Uh, I do love seeing uh, the Foley girls' effort and intensity here. Gabby Foley with a shot from the corner. Won't fall. Haley Beebe with the rebound. Brings the ball down for Newark Valley as we're under a minute to play. About 45 seconds left. Inside the Cha. Back up top. Allison Walker with a three attempt. No good. 33 seconds left to play. 76-32 in favor of the Cardinals. See if Tioga can get another good look here at the basket. Vance comes across, gets into the man wearing. Over to Abby Foley, up with the shot, and it rattles around the rim and then falls. Ten seconds to play. Looks like Newark Valley. Whoa. Run things out here, under five to play. And they dribble it out to get the win. I believe that takes Newark Valley to 7-1 on the season. And, a, and, and almost a great performance because it wasn't a great performance by Newark Valley, if that makes sense. Great uh, game by Nekadovic, uh, finishing with 26. Uh, Brianna Beebe finishing with 21. They're the leading scorers for Newark Valley. And on Tioga's side, just had, had nothing to, to match the speed and defense and length of Newark Valley. 
Uh, good to see some, uh, some energy and intensity there at the end of the game, especially from the Foley girls. Uh, Julia Bellis, Ari Mann wearing Mariah Nichols. And now we get ready for the JV game coming up here in just a couple minutes. We'll be back for the tip in just a little while. Thank you. Handful at home though. Like, it's I so bet. funny. She's like the, the little angel when she comes to school. Like, oh, she's sure. so sweet. Like at home, we have two older dogs. One that's about four or five years old, a Jack Russell head. It's very energetic. So. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go to
and welcome back to Tioga Central High School as we're getting ready for the tip in our girls JV game between Newark Valley and the Tioga Tigers. And Newark Valley's JV team dressing seven. Meanwhile, Tioga's uh, dressing nine. And we're ready for the tip. Tip controlled by Newark Valley. And right away, looking to score as Kalina Graham throws the ball away. Good idea, though, looking inside. Newark Valley starting right off with a press. Tioga gets into Messler. She takes it herself, breaks the press. It's to Kira Bailey. Back out to Elise Haney. Messler again at the foul line. Good ball movement by Tioga. Elise Haney with the shot, rims out. Newark Valley pulls down the rebound. Up ahead to Kalina Graham. She scores the first two points of the ball game. Oh, miscommunication there by Tioga, Newark Valley. Driving down, great pass inside to Mackenzie Day. She can't convert. Kira Bailey pulls down the rebound. Lee Saney controlling on the side, steps out of bounds. Newark Valley basketball, 6.55 left to play here in the first quarter. 2-0 in favor of Newark Valley. Jasmine Graham brings the ball down. For Newark Valley has the ball picked off by Elise Haney. Too strong on the on the lay-in attempt. Newark Valley comes back the other way. Sarah Raymond from the wing won't fall. Number 34, Faith Payne with the rebound. And it looks like uh, Kalina Graham gets another bucket, a little mid-range jumper to put Newark Valley up 4-0. Yep, inbounds pass goes off uh, Megan Vance's foot. Oh, nope. Yep, I was right. Went off uh, Megan Vance's foot will be Newark Valley basketball. 6.09 left to play. Ball's inbounded to Jasmine Graham. Over to Kalina. Back to Faith Payne, rims out, shot from the elbow. Kira Bailey with another rebound. Good idea by Messler. But a little too far out in front of Bailey. 5.45 left to play here in the first quarter. 4-0 in favor of Newark Valley. Kalina Graham throws the ball away into Megan Vance. Lily Messler driving down, pulls up for a jumper. Just inside the free throw line, comes up short. Newark Valley costs, calls first time out of the game. 527 left to play. 4-0 in favor of Newark Valley. Oh, 
On the floor for Newark Valley, Sarah Raymond, Jasmine Graham, Kalina Graham, Mackenzie Day, and Faith Payne. And shot is long by Raymond, rebound by Newark Valley. Jasmine Graham with a foul line jumper, no good. Kira Bailey comes down with another rebound. That's her third. Knocked out of bounds will be Tioga basketball. Ball bounces around, ends up in the hands of Newark Valley. Good defense by Messler as it's knocked out of bounds off of Kalina Graham's hands. We've Tioga basketball. Megan Vance, Sadie Parker, Elise Haney, Lily Messler, Kira Bailey on the floor. Megan Vance with a shot hard off the backboard. Coming back the other way for Newark Valley. They had numbers, slowed it down a little bit. Good defense by Kira Bailey, great defender. Fourth shot by Mackenzie Day. Tyler gets out ahead to Messler. Pulls up. Great inside pass to Sadie Parker, and she gets the two. First bucket of the ball game for Tioga goes to Sadie Parker. Great pass from Messler. Jasmine Graham wide open for three, won't fall. Will be uh, Tioga basketball. And Leah Quick getting cheered on by her Varsity Sisters as she comes into the game for Newark Valley. 4-10 left to play here in the first. Newark Valley up 4-2. Tyler the basketball, Messler up top. Gives it to Bailey, back to Messler. And Bailey tries a skip pass, picked off by Jasmine Graham up against, uh, up ahead to her sister Kalina who Scores the bucket. Three thirty-five left to play in the first quarter. Six to two, the score. Newark Valley leads. Good interior pass to Megan Vance. A little hard on the shot, gets her own rebound. Kalina Graham gets the ball for Newark Valley. Good effort by Tioga there. It's the ball inside to Faith Payne. Can't convert though, Sadie Parker with the rebounds. Oh, haphazard with the passing so far for Tioga. Kira Bailey with good defense. Kira Bailey causing some problems in the backcourt for Newark Valley. And And they get the 10 second call. Great job by Kira Bailey, basically creating a turnover all through uh, her defense there. 2.45 left to play in the first quarter. Six to two, Newark Valley leads. Inside, great inside pass by Bailey to Messler. She can't convert, gets her own rebound and dribbles twice. And that apparently is frowned upon in high school basketball. Two and a half minutes left to play in the first quarter. Six to two your score still. Newark Valley bringing the ball down. Over to Emma Smith in the corner. Back up to Jasmine Graham. Thought about a three. Sarah Raymond from the baseline. Won't go. Kira Bailey pulls down the rebound. Her fourth rebound on the day. Ahead to Messler. Oh, great pass, great play. Just too much height from this Newark Valley team as Jasmine Graham rejects Messler as she tries to go in for a score. And I believe that was a two-point attempt, a long two-point attempt by Messler's no good. Whistle's blown. Not sure even the players know why. It'll be Newark Valley basketball. 
201 left to play in the first quarter, still 6 to 2. On the floor for Newark Valley, Emma Smith, Leah Quick, Mackenzie Day, Jasmine Graham, and Sarah Raymond. Shot by Emma Smith is no good. Jasmine Graham pulls down the rebound, gets it over to Raymond. She misses. Sadie Parker with the rebound. Her second board of the game. 135 left to play in the first quarter. Still 6-2 in favor of Newark Valley. Uh, Lee Saney forces a pass inside, picked off by Mackenzie Day of Newark Valley. 124 left to play, 6-2 your score. Jasmine Graham looks over to Emma Smith, well defended by Kira Bailey. Jasmine Graham dribbles around the side. Oh, shot rims out. Great rebound by Leah Quick, can't get the put back. And Sadie Parker with another rebound. Three rebounds on the game for Sadie of Tioga. Elise Haney bringing the ball down. Gets it to Messler. She drives baseline. Oh, trying to find, I believe, Sadie Parker. But ball goes off the backboard. Kalina Graham checks back into the game for Sarah Raymond here for Newark Valley. 47 seconds left to play, still 6-2, Newark Valley. More good defense by Kira Bailey. Inside to Quick, Quick back out to Smith. Gets it around to Jasmine Graham, dribbles around the end, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound by Mackenzie Day. Turn around with a shot, no good as well. Sadie Parker, her fifth re excuse me, fourth rebound of the game. 20 seconds left to play. Let's see if Tyler can get a good look here and cut this lead to two inside to Megan Vance at the elbow. Inside to Elise Haney. Struggle for the basketball. Jasmine Graham comes away with it on the fast break. Three seconds left and she gets the foul. Basket's no good. That'll be a foul on Messler. That's Messler's first foul of the game. And Jasmine Graham will shoot two. And first one rattles in. Jasmine's first point of the game. And she sinks both of them to extend the lead out to six. Eight to two now. In favor of Newark Valley, 2.7 seconds left. Good aggressive defense by Newark Valley, knocked out of bounds by Mackenzie Day. 0.8 seconds on the clock for Tioga. I think they should go for the big alley-oop dunk. I think that's the way to go. Oh, they get to Messler. Messler gets off a shot. Oh, what a great play. Great effort by Lily Messler and great pass by Kira Bailey to actually get a shot off there. 8-2 is your score as we head into the second period. Not much scoring so far in the first quarter here in this game, but uh, Kalina Graham leads the way with six points. Jasmine Graham, I'm assuming her sister, has the other two for Newark Valley. And Sadie Parker with Tioga's lone bucket. I don't know if you can hear that, but you get a little peek inside the huddle uh, with Coach 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 Jason Monty, uh, the JV girls coach uh, for Newark Valley. Of course, Stephanie Hills, the JV girls coach for Tioga. Good to have Coach Hills on board, former basketball player. 
on the floor for Tioga. Megan Vance, Sadie Parker, Lily Messler, Elise Haney, and Kira Bailey. Elise Haney for three off the backboard. Newark Valley gets the rebound. Number 13, Emma Smith pulls it down. Jasmine Graham brings it down, gets it to Kalina, who passes it back to Jasmine. Emma Smith on the wing. Great pass inside to Mackenzie Day from the elbow. Shot won't fall. Emma Smith with the board and a look, but can't get it to fall. Jump ball and will stay with the Cardinals. 7.28 left to play in the first half. 8-2 to two your score. Number five, Abby Evans checks in for Lily Messler for Tioga. And Newark Valley getting good looks, just cannot get any baskets to fall. Kira Bailey ends up uh, getting tied up, gets the jump ball. 7.20 left to play, 8-2 to two your score, Newark Valley leads. Kira Bailey running the show here, gets it over to Elise Haney. Back over to Abby Evans, number five. And the ball's thrown away. Kira Bailey can't handle it. A little miscommunication there. Seven minutes to play here in the first half. Listen in Mackenzie Day. Another good look at a shot. Just cannot get it to fall. Emma Smith with the rebounds. Gets the ball out to Jasmine Graham, who sinks the long jumper. 10 to two your score now, 6.40 left to play. So far it's the, uh, the Graham sister show for Newark Valley, accounting for all of the Cardinals points. Defensive kick there by Newark Valley, ball remains with Tioga. Sarah Raymond and Faith Payne check back in for the Cardinals. Six and a half minutes left to play in the first half. 10 to two, your score. Messler back in the game for Tioga as well. Swings it to Haney. Haney's seeing them there, but she's forcing those passes a little bit. Kalina Graham with the shot, gets her own rebound, follows it in. And just Newark Valley can't, struggling, getting a lot of good looks, having trouble scoring the basketball. And timeout is called. Coach Monty not liking what he's seeing here. Six minutes left to play in the half. Newark Valley leads 10 to two. Tioga having trouble finding good looks at the basket, kind of forcing some passes. Uh, Newark Valley actually getting a lot of good looks, just not getting any of them to fall. So we'll see uh, how Coach Hill, Hills adjusts, see if we can get uh, the Tigers a good look at a basket. The height and length of Newark Valley is going to make it tough for them, for Tioga to keep forcing passes inside that aren't there. Newark Valley basketball underneath. They get the ball into Raymond. Up to Mackenzie Day, shot misses from the elbow. Rebound by Kalina Graham. And she's tied up, jump ball. Good defense by Tioga. 5.48 left to play here in the first half. Messler to Vance. Back to Messler. Over to Messler in the corner. She tries to go baseline. Kick ball by Mackenzie Day of Newark Valley will remain Tioga basketball. Five and a half minutes left to go here in the first half. Still 10 to two. And we're running off some time off the shot clock. Mm -hmm. 
and in a pretty much empty gymnasium. That is some awkward silence right there. That's definitely where you missed the fans. 15 seconds on the shot clock for Tioga. Messler comes around, fires the ball off the top of the backboard. Not a bad shot. As far as a look, just would love to have that be a little, maybe she rushed that shot a little bit, a little too much on it. Newark Valley brings the ball down, gets it inside to Faith Payne with the shot, no good. Sadie Parker with another rebound, her fifth. Messler at the top of the key. Good defense by Newark Valley. And it is off uh, Caitlin Vasey Hunt of Tioga will be Newark Valley basketball. Just under five minutes to play in the first half, still 10 to two. Jasmine Graham brings the ball down, gets a shot just inside the three-point line, and it falls. Jasmine and her sister Kalina both have six points on the game, accounting for all 12 of Newark Valley's scores. And the passing is what's killing Tioga right now. Good defense by Lily Messler, gets the ball back as Newark Valley was in transition. Yeah, a lot of forced passes by Tioga, not a lot of movement. A lot of chatter by the officials, not sure what the call was, maybe a jump ball. Be Tioga basketball. And ball was thrown away by Tioga. And apologies to the Graham family as well. My executive producer just alerted me that it's actually Graham Cousins that uh, Jasmine and Kalina are cousins and not sisters. And Kira Bailey banks open on Saturdays. Kira Bailey knocks in a two to double Tioga's score to four. Three thirty-five left to play in the half. Twelve to four in favor of Newark Valley. Great pass inside by Messler to Parker. She can't finish. Newark Valley comes away with the ball. Jasmine Graham drives in, passes it out to her cousin, and then over to Mackenzie Day, who misses the shot from the foul line. She gets another look for three in the corner, and it's gonna be short. Another rebound by Sadie Parker, her sixth board of the game. Parker gets the ball in the corner. And a well well-placed timeout by Coach Hills for Tioga as Parker was in a little bit of trouble over there trying to get the ball to Messler in the corner. 2.48 left to play here in the first half. 12-4 uh, to four your score in favor of Newark Valley. Really, so far, I love the energy from Tioga uh, on the defensive end, uh, led by uh, Messler and Bailey. Uh, just on the offensive end, just a lot of forced passes. Uh, would love to see Tioga work it around a little bit more. Uh, it seems like every girl, at uh, least Haney, also uh, playing well, uh, very athletic, but it just looks like a lot of forced passes and a lot of not a lot of movement off the ball by Tioga. So it ends up anytime there's one of these passes either forced into the middle or skip crossed. Uh, across court, uh, there's just a lot of red shirts in the vicinity. So, 
but love the energy and effort so far by Tioga and uh, really uh, game a lot closer than the score indicates 12 to 4 now as we're under three minutes to play in the first half gets the ball into Vance shot up short rebound by Kalina Graham and man Kira Bailey just all over the court Sarah Raymond with the, oh, they're calling it a two from the corner. Her first bucket of the game. First points by a non-Graham cousin for Newark Valley. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Bailey drives in, loses the ball. Newark Valley picks up the turnover. Under two minutes to play, 14 to four is your score, Newark Valley leading. Mackenzie Day drives away. She gets the ball at the elbow and just full steam ahead towards the block and she gets the score. She's been fighting hard and getting some bad bounces. Good to see uh, Mackenzie Day get a bucket here. Another forced pass by Tioga. Just nothing there. Sixteen to four is your score. And it was a kicked basketball by Newark Valley. It'll be Tioga basketball. Haney from the foul line, can't get it to fall. Raymond with the rebound, up ahead to Kalina Graham, who drives in on Messler, can't finish. Elise Haney with the rebound. Kira Bailey from just inside the three-point line. No good, there's a whistle. Oh, she got a foul. And I believe that foul is on Jasmine Graham, her first. Kira Bailey will shoot two now. Rims out the first. Minute 15 left to play. 16-4 is your score. Oh. Knocked out of bounds by... Tioga will be Newark Valley's basketball with a minute 13 left to play. 12 point lead for Newark Valley. Jasmine Graham from the wing, lets it fly and it falls. The three pointer is good. Nine points on the game for Jasmine Graham. Good ball movement by Tioga. This is the sort of thing we're looking for. Oh, great defense by Newark Valley, though. Kalina Graham drives past Messler. And she can't finish, but it will remain Newark Valley basketball. Underneath, 37.6 seconds left to go here in the first half. 19 to 4 is your score. Easy pass inside to Kalina Graham. She gets the two. Kalina Graham with eight points. 21 to 4 now, 25 seconds left to play in the half. Elise Haney from the corner, won't go, rebound Newark Valley. 15 seconds left, 21 4 is your score. 10 seconds left to go in the half. Raymond, good looking shot, won't fall. Rebound by Kalina Graham. Not a lot of effort there on the defensive end by Tioga. And that'll be the end of the first half. Newark Valley, 23 to four. Newark Valley struggling to get uh, shots to fall, but still being able to, to pull off 23 points in the first half. And Tioga, just a lot of forced passes. And uh, that last possession, they seem to work the ball around pretty good. Uh, we'll see what adjustments Coach Hills makes at halftime. See if they can get the uh, Tioga offense uh, cruising here and getting a couple of uh, good looks. 
Uh, we're into halftime now, running down some of the uh, scores. As I mentioned, the Graham Cousins, Jasmine and Kalina uh, leading the way. Jasmine with nine points, Kalina with eight. And then Sarah Raymond and Mackenzie Day with uh, two points each. The only one with a foul that I have is Jasmine Graham. Uh, she's got a foul. And then on the Tioga side, Lily Messler, the only one with a foul, I believe. Uh, leading the way scoring-wise, well, with four points, that uh, you got Sadie Parker and Kira Bailey with a bucket each. Uh, but those two also getting it done on the boards as Sadie's got uh, six rebounds and Kira Bailey has four. And Kira Bailey has just been a defensive presence. Uh, I don't know if – I hope this is uh, appreciated uh, by the <laughs> Bailey family when I say this, but uh, watching Kira out there, she's almost like a gnat, like a mosquito that just – uh, the new when she decides to really press and play good defense, uh, Newark Valley just cannot get away from her and can't. Uh, she just makes things happen on the defensive end. Um, <laughs> it seems like sometimes they just can't get rid of her. So hopefully we'll be able to see uh, see her keep up that defensive intensity and see uh, the team as a whole at Tioga pick up uh, intensity on the offensive end and see if we can uh, get some good looks and can convert some baskets. Really, again, this game uh, seems a lot closer. Uh, than it is 23 to 4 Newark Valley leads as we're here into halftime. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back here in just a little while with the start of the second half.
fight for um, the owl. Big time. Shame dragons. Agreeing to get a puppy. You And I welcome. Believe how big she has gotten Daisy's got when she during the um, board meeting that she had. She was so happy. I was like, "Hi, oh. right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Tioga Central High School, where unfortunately our puppy dog talk has to be interrupted by the second half of a JV girls basketball game." I'm kidding. Welcome back to scenic Tioga Center for the second half of this JV girls basketball game between Newark Valley and Tioga. Newark Valley leads 23 to 4. Good move by Kalina Graham. Her 10th point, 10 points leads all scorers. 25 to 4 now. Newark Valley knocked out of bounds by Newark Valley. Let's see if Tioga, what adjustments Tioga has made, see if they can get some good looks and some more crisp passing. Good ball movement. Messler for three. Just misses. Elise Haney gets the rebound but is blocked. And it will remain Tioga basketball. Seven fifteen left to go here in the third quarter. Twenty-five to four is your score in favor of Newark Valley. Tioga basketball. Tioga moving the ball around pretty good. Messler on the wing dribbles into the middle, gets the pass. Oh, over the head of Kira Bailey in the corner. Newark Valley basketball.
Jasmine Graham dribbles around the top for Newark Valley, gets it over to Sarah Raymond. Shot's partially blocked. Newark Valley retains control. Back to Raymond, blocked again by Haney. Oh, Parker comes with the rebound. Ball ends up belonging to Tioga after a frantic scramble underneath the Newark Valley basket. Elise Haney at the top of the key. Good looking shot by Sadie Parker, won't fall. And Mackenzie Day comes away with the board. 6.15 left to play here in the third quarter, 25 to four, Newark Valley leads. Elise Haney on the breakaway for Tioga. Struggling with the basketball, throws into the middle, recovered by Newark Valley. Under six minutes to play in the third quarter. Raymond from the corner, fouled as she shoots, shot won't go, but foul will be on Messler. And Raymond will shoot two. That's Messler's second of the game. And Raymond's first foul shot is a little short. Off the rim again, but Newark Valley, Kalina Graham gets the rebound. Sarah Raymond, oh, tough shot on the foul. Actually got a good shot off the possession, rebound came high over her head. She jumped up and got it and put it back up for the bucket. Sarah Raymond with four points now for Newark Valley as they extend their lead to 23. 27-4 is the score with 5.39 left to play in the third quarter. I think there's some confusion on the Tioga side that Tioga came away with the rebound. Some players started running back down the floor. Left, uh, left some uneven numbers for Tiger's defense underneath. On the floor for Tioga, Elise Haney, uh, Meg Advance, Sadie Parker, Lily Messler, and Kira Bailey. On the floor for Newark Valley, Kalina Graham, Jasmine Graham, Sarah Raymond, Mackenzie Day, and Faith Payne. And Not sure what happened there. Ball's awarded to Newark Valley. Great defensive pressure by Kira Bailey. Newark Valley moves the ball around. Elise Haney comes away with a steal, but gives it right back to Newark Valley. Jasmine Graham drives to the basket. Uh, <laughs> Not quite sure what happened there. Uh, I think everybody except the official thought that there was a foul, but nothing called as everything just kind of pauses. Tioga comes down the other way. There's a tie-up between Messler and Raymond. Elise Haney takes a seat for Tioga. Abby Evans makes her way into the ball game. Mackenzie Day takes a seat for Newark Valley. Leah Quick, number 50, into the game for Newark Valley. 4.42 left to play here in the third quarter. Kira Bailey finds Messler underneath, just like they drew it up. Messler's first points of the game. Under four and a half to play. Oh, great interior pass to Jasmine Graham, who can't finish. Parker comes away with another rebound, her seventh. Bailey brings the ball down for Tioga, looking to get a good look.
And Messler shuffles the feet. Called for the travel. Number 13, Emma Smith checks in for Jasmine Graham on the Newark Valley side. 4.08 left to play, 27-6 is your score. Newark Valley leading. Over four minutes to play in the third quarter. Kalina Graham. Oh. Good defense by Kira Bailey, but a little too aggressive as she's called for the blocking foul. Her first foul, which is great showing how hard she's played defensively. That's, that's her first foul of the game. New York Valley takes the ball underneath. Under four minutes to play in the third quarter. Gets it into Emma Smith. And there's a tie up underneath. Jump ball and it'll stay with New York Valley. And Newark Valley calls a full timeout. With 3.51 left to play in the third quarter, up by 21, 27 to 6. Sarah Raymond now with four points for Newark Valley. Uh, Jasmine Graham with nine. Kalina Graham with 10. Um, Mackenzie Day with two. I think my math isn't adding up there, so I'm definitely missing something on the Newark Valley end. On the Tioga side, uh, still got uh, Lily Messler, Sadie Parker, and Kira Bailey with a bucket each, two points each. Um, Sadie Parker leading uh, leading both teams with seven rebounds here. And again, as I've stated in all these games, uh, please uh, take any of my stats with a grain of salt here, as they are definitely unofficial. A great place to, uh, to check out is maybe the uh, Tioga County Sports Report. Often publishes uh, game stories for a lot of these high school games. You can pick up uh, some of the point totals there. I'm doing my best. Like, I know I'm missing uh, one bucket here for Newark Valley. It's not sure who that belongs to. 3.51 left to play in the third quarter. Newark Valley... Yep. Newark Valley player was actually standing out of bounds. Emma Smith when she uh, tried to grab the ball inside. Tioga basketball now. 3.45 left to play in the third quarter. Lily Messler bringing the ball down for Tioga. Here Bailey launches up the shot. No good. Messler with the long rebound. Good looking shot. Can't get it to fall. And Kalina Graham with the rebound, but can't hang on to it as it goes out of bounds, belongs to Tioga. Jasmine Graham and Mackenzie Day check back into the game for Newark Valley. Taking a seat is Kalina Graham and Faith Payne. Willie Messler, good looking shot, won't fall. Rebound goes to Emma Smith for Newark Valley. 3.20 left to play in the third quarter. Jasmine Graham dribbles in, almost gets the ball taken away by Lily Messler. Sarah Raymond uh, takes the scenic route to the baseline as she steps out of bounds. 3.05 left to play, 27 to 6 in favor of Newark Valley. Tioga basketball. Sadie Parker pulls up the shot, almost goes in from the corner. Newark Valley with the rebounds. Jasmine Graham up top, plays a little give and go with Sarah Raymond and it works. Jasmine Graham scores two for Newark Valley. Twenty-nine to six, your score. Two fifteen left to play in the third quarter. Kira Bailey, top of the key, looks at the three. Bank still open. That's five points on the afternoon for Kira Bailey. Oh. 
Good step up defense by Lily Messler, who does get called for the foul, but good help defense. Shot doesn't fall by Newark Valley, but Jasmine, Jasmine Graham will shoot too. Elise Haney and uh, Caitlin Vasey Hunt check in for Newark Valley. Lily Messler and Sadie Parker check out. We've got Kalina Graham, Emma Smith, Leah Quick, Jasmine Graham, and Mackenzie Day on the floor for Newark Valley. Front end of the two shots missed by Jasmine Graham. 150 left to play in the third quarter. 29 to nine in favor of Newark Valley. And she hits the back end. That gives her 12 points, according to my trusty notebook. 30 to nine the score, 21 point lead for Newark Valley. A minute 45 left to play in the third quarter. We'll give and go with Kira and Elise Haney. Great shot by Kira Bailey. Kalina Graham with the ball, goes baseline. Great take by Kalina Graham, another two for her. That gives her 12 on the day. Matching her cousin Jasmine. A little forced pass in the middle by Elise Haney. Kira Bailey comes away with it back out to Haney. Haney from way downtown. Shorts will be Newark Valley basketball. 57 seconds left to play in the third quarter, 32 to 11. Faith Payne into the game for Newark Valley, along with Mackenzie Day, Kalina Graham, Sarah Raymond, and Jasmine Graham. Raymond with the shot, no good. Rebound brought down by Vasey Hunt. Kira Bailey forces the issue. Gets a foul called on Jasmine Graham, her second. It's on the floor, so Tyoga will take it out underneath. 37 seconds left to play. To Haney, Haney comes back to the middle, looks for a shot, can't get anything up over Jasmine Graham. Recovered by Faith Payne of Newark Valley and the Cardinals go the other way. Mackenzie Day up top. To Jasmine Graham. Inside to Faith Payne, Just a little turnaround jumper, no good. Battle for the rebounds and it will be a jump ball. Belongs to Tioga now, 13 and a half seconds left to play in the third quarter, 32 to 11 in favor of Newark Valley. Newark Valley in a 2-3 zone. Over to Haney with the shot from the corner, no good. Rebound to Vasey Hunt, but she could not get a shot off. Good looking shot by Haney, just can't get it to fall. And that ends the third quarter with our score 32 to 11 in favor of Newark Valley. Currently leading scores, I have both Jasmine and Kalina Graham with 12 each, but I do believe I'm missing, uh, missing one bucket here. So uh, there's a pretty good chance that uh, that bucket belongs to either one of them. So if my executive producer was earning her paycheck, she'd find out for me, but don't know if that's gonna happen. And again, thanks a lot to all the family and friends of uh, both uh, Newark Valley and Tioga uh, for joining us here today. Again, I'm, I know it's not ideal, not an ideal way to uh, watch our, our kids and our students play basketball here, but uh, they're getting to play nonetheless. So we'll take it at this point. Uh, but we appreciate you joining us. And again, hopefully uh, we add a little bit to the, uh, to the broadcast here, make it a little easier to watch.
And here we go, ready to kick off the fourth quarter. On the floor for Newark Valley, we got uh, Sarah Raymond, Jasmine Graham, Kalina Graham, Faith Payne, and Mackenzie Day on the floor for uh, Tioga, Kira Bailey, Elise Haney, Lizzie Schaefer, Caitlin Vasey Hunt, and Abby Evans. Kalina Graham, good take in, won't fall, rebound Newark Valley. And another tie up underneath. Will belong to uh, Tioga. 32 to 11 now. Just 15 seconds into the fourth quarter. Good ball movement by Tioga. Kira Bailey from the wing for three, and she got it. That is 10 points for Kira Bailey. Great game on both ends of the floor for Bailey so far. And almost got a steal. Picked uh, Jasmine Graham's pocket, but it goes out of bounds. Remains Cardinals basketball. Gets the ball inside to Kalina Graham. Runs into a little resistant. Gets it to her cousin Jasmine for three. Short, no good. Rebound Newark Valley to Raymond, back out to Jasmine. Good defense by Tioga. And they force a shot clock violation. Great defense by Tioga. Bailey brings the ball up court. Little trouble over in the corner for Tioga. Bad things happen when you dribble into the corner. 6.26 left to play, 32-14 in favor of Newark Valley. Great inside pass to Jasmine. Good head fake and the bucket. 14 points for Jasmine Graham, give or take two. 6.10 left to play here in the game, 34 14, 20 point lead for Newark Valley. Haney on the corner, drops the ball off for Bailey. Bailey gets it down to Schaefer. Ball taken away by Newark Valley. Jasmine Graham with the steal. Sarah Raymond brings the ball up court. 5.52 left to play in the game. Nobody guarding Mackenzie Day. Might want to put a body on her. She drives in. Oh! Called for the travel before the foul. Five forty-five left to play in the game. Thirty-four fourteen in favor of Newark Valley. Kira Bailey bringing the ball down, guarded by Kalina Graham, and a travel called on Bailey after getting the ball after it knocked back down to her from Jasmine Graham. Five and a half minutes left to play. Still a twenty-point lead for Newark Valley. Jasmine head fake drives in and gets another two. Another forced pass by Haney. Sadie Parker comes away with it. Can't uh, drop the jump shot as they head back the other way. Five minutes left to go in the game. 36-14 in favor of Newark Valley. Jasmine Graham continues to score a jump shot from the elbow there. Thirty-eight to fourteen, four forty-five left to play, and Coach Hills calls a thirty-second timeout for the Tigers. So under five minutes left to play here in the game, 38-14. Jasmine Graham leading the way with 18 points for Newark Valley. Her cousin Kalina right behind her with 12. 
Sarah Raymond with four, and Mackenzie Day with two. And on the Tioga side, really, it's it's all Kira Bailey. She's got ten points, uh, four rebounds, uh, making up the bulk of the scoring and a bulk of the defensive pressure for Tioga. Sadie Parker also chipping in seven rebounds. Great effort by her on that side of the floor. Tioga basketball. Haney dribbles around the end. Gets to Messler, steps into it for three from the wing. No good. Parker and Quick battle for the rebound. It's knocked out of bounds. Will belong to Tioga. And oh, great defensive play. A turnover made. And New River Valley look like they're gonna get out and run. And Elise Haney with a great defensive play to slow that down forcing Newark Valley into their half-court set. Looks like man-to-man -man defense by Tioga. Quick for three, short, no good. Kalina Graham gets the rebound, resets, gets it back to Quick again, looking for three. Skip pass over to Raymond. Raymond from the elbow, great defense by Messler. Has to force up a shot. No, another great block by Messler. Newark Valley ball underneath. And Newark Valley calls a full timeout. Coach Monty feeling like his uh, 24 point lead is in jeopardy. 3.58 left to play here in the game, 38 14. Great effort down on the defensive end, especially by Lily Metzler, that last possession. Uh, something tells me that Lily, uh, Lily doesn't know her actual height. She walks around and plays basketball like she thinks she's 6'4", which uh, is not a, not a bad thing at all. Three fifty-eight left to play in the game. Thirty-eight to fourteen. Newark Valley leads. Newark Valley ball underneath their own basket. Emma Smith for three. Hits the backboard and the shot clock goes off. Newark Valley uh, varsity girls cheering on their JV sisters here. Elise Haney just trying so hard to force the ball inside, and most of the time to uh, Megan Vance as well. And just the pass, uh, the lanes aren't there for those passes. I know Elise can, can score the basketball too. Love to see her drive in and try to pull some of that defense to get some of those people open. Here, Bailey with a jump shot, no good. Megan Vance with the rebound. Back out to Haney, to Messler, to Bailey again. Bailey for three again. A little flat on the shot. Parker gets the rebound. Quick gets in there to tie her up. But that will be uh, Sadie's eighth rebound of the day. Ball will belong to Newark Valley. 321 left to play. Quick out top with the ball. Good defense by Tioga. Great take by Karina Graham. One on one underneath the Graham Cousins, there's just no match for them here with Tioga. They get their back to the basket in the paint and they're pretty much gonna do what they wanna do. At that point, you just, you know, if you're Tioga, you hope they miss. And that's not a very good defensive strategy. 2.45 left to play. Good ball, I am impressed with Tioga's ball movement here. Shot by Bailey, misses, Messler gets the rebounds. Pass it off to Haney. Great shot from the corner, rims out. 
even though the ball is not falling for him, I, I do like Tioga's offensive approach here, especially in the fourth quarter, moving the ball around. And if they just get rid of those forced passes, you know, either let that come to you or get those uh, girls off the ball to move a little bit more. But the, those forced passes just are making it a struggle. But much better possessions for Tioga here in the fourth quarter. Ball thrown away, picked up by Newark Valley. And Jasmine Graham misses, but Mackenzie Day cleans up her mess. 42 to 14, coming up on 2.15 left to play in the fourth quarter. Bailey picks up her dribble in the corner, gets it out to Haney, over to Messler. Back out to Bailey, great pass, great shot, just won't fall. And Parker comes with another rebound, jacks it up, no good. Parker's ninth rebound of the game. One thirty-eight left to play in the game. Quick drives baseline, loses the ball, goes out of bounds. Apparently, uh, Sophomore Leah Quick, a, a favorite of the Newark Valley Varsity girls. Minute and a half left to go in the game, 42 to 14. Newark Valley leads. Move, girls. There we go. Haney dribbles it off her foot. Newark Valley recovers. Jasmine Graham with the ball. Inside today. She dribbles around. And guess what I said about the Graham Cousins even uh, translates to Mackenzie Day. Same thing. Gets in the paint, back to the basket, and just nothing, not much you can do if you're Tioga. I really think, I don't think there's anything Tioga can do in that situation. I think you gotta almost sacrifice trying to deny the ball even getting in there. Messler with a nice little running one-hander, very athletic move. Leah Quick gets the rebound. 35 seconds left to play in the game. 30 point lead for Newark Valley. Head fake by Faith Payne, shot doesn't go. Is that Emma Smith, I believe, with her first bucket of the game? Twelve seconds left to play. Messler fires up a three. Takes her port total to five. Four seconds left to play. New York Valley dribbles it out. 46 to 17 is the final. Newark Valley, an impressive win here. Running down some point totals. I believe Jasmine Graham had an even 20. Uh, Kalina Graham with uh, uh, 14. Mackenzie Day with six. Sarah Raymond with four. Emma Smith with two. And looking at Tioga, uh, Kira Bailey leading the way with 10 points and five rebounds. Uh, Lily Messler with a big three there at the end to give her five points. Sadie Parker with two points and nine rebounds. And again, really a, a, a much more competitive game than the score showed. I really think the main issue with Tioga uh, was forcing passes where there was nothing there and moving away from, uh, off the ball. Uh, there was just too many forced passes. Once and even in the second half, uh, even though they might not have scored the basketball as much as they wanted, they definitely got a lot more good looks moving the ball around, waiting, being patient, and finding the open shot. Uh, but uh, such it is here in girls basketball. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, congratulations to Newark Valley, pulling off the sweep of both games in uh, commanding fashion. And good luck to Newark Valley here on the rest of the season. Very, very talented, especially the varsity girls team. Very talented uh, basketball team. Be very interesting to see uh, how well they do here under the under the uh, senior wise counsel of Coach Greg Schweiger.
Thanks a lot for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.